All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Vinland Saga season two, episode six. Holy damn! Canute snapped. The last episode was so good. Um, seeing the rise of Canute over the kind of little time skips that we had, freaking amazing. Um, how he came to power, how he overthrew the the previous kings. Um, freaking awesome. Truly, truly, my king. My king of England, for real. Fuck the current king of England in real life. Um, yeah, really freaking good. I'm excited to see if the current timeline fits into what we all know as present day with Aenard and Thorfinn, or whether there's now been a time skip, because I'm not sure what year the the our present day with Thorfinn and Aenard is set in. So maybe we've time skipped too. Maybe the forest is already already gone. That'd be cool, um, but I'm still looking forward to it regardless. So, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Has time moved on? Or are we still in present day? There's a snake! Holy fuck. Oh, damn, this boy's jacked! Oh, we removing stumps. Oh my god, that's gotta be hard as shit. It, it doesn't seem like time's moved on. I'm not sure. I'm going to pop a blood vessel or something, bro. <laughs> these two are so funny. So they've got to remove all these trees from the forest. I never even considered how hard it would be to remove the stumps as well. This is too much work for two people. Look how deep-rooted that stump is, bro. No chance we're getting all these out. I'm guessing they're using the wood for something, but, like, my god... Burning down the forest be easier? You need a strong ass horse to deal with what they're doing though. Oh, are they saying that they want to try make some fields now? Whilst they're still taking down trees? Slacking off? Do you know the work that they're doing? Bro, these retainers are a piece of shit, man. Good job holding your tongue, eh, Nara? They've both got a little bit of the facial hair going on, so there's been some kind of a time skip, even if it's like two weeks, you know? I like uh, Thorfinn's man bun look he's got going on. Oh, I can see the ears like fully healed, so it must have been some amount of time. <laughs> the look on his face. <laughs> These two are so funny, I love them. Oh, is this the old dude that's um, Snake's grandfather, I think? They got this man in, out in the fields? Bro, old as hell. You need a horse? What's the catch, sir? They pro he probably wants some kind of yield from uh, the field, no? Or the crops, maybe? Oh, is this all he wants? Just help picking rocks out of the dirt? Oh yeah, this has got to be a hard job for an old dude. Servokal. Sverkel. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a hard name. Sverkel. Trying to get this name right. Sverkel. Oh, they got these go these dudes doing all kinds of labor. This this horse better be good. It better not be like close to death. Wonder if they're going to meet up with Snake again. This is where he lives, right? Okay, can we see the horse? <laughs> is it a good horse? Oh, it must be a good horse. Yeah, it's a big, strong horse. Nice. <laughs> oh, I love Aenard. He's so dumb. So they got to do extra work, but... Well, yeah, you know what? The extra work that they're doing is not as intensive if they didn't have a horse. So yeah, this is fine. This has got to be super hard on the horse, though. Thorfinn looks so different with his hair up. I feel like his face shape is starting to, like, resemble Thor's more. This horse looks tired. Hopefully they don't work it to death. Oh, Thorfinn doesn't know anything about farming. What were you going to do if Einar wasn't here? Oh yeah, because he's from, like, Icy Land. He probably just fished. Ah, oh, they're so good together. They're good friends. Bitch, I will take you to his house. What do you mean? Wait, do they know who he is? 
The old master? Yeah, bro, he lent me a horse. Ah, uh, I was thinking that. Damn. Wait, is this is the grandparent of Snake, isn't it? Or am I thinking confusing it with someone else? I might be confusing it with someone else. It's definitely good having Ian all around. There's no way Forfin would know all, how to do all this. Let's go. We got our own little plot of land. Eight families shared a single plow. Wow. I can't imagine these would be easy to make, yeah. Considering they can't be mass produced. What an incredible invention. That's an interesting, interesting perspective. I love this. I love Thorfinn learning about the world and learning new shit. So nice. Oh, Kettle, hello. Okay, so yeah, is Snake. So is Snake then related to Kettle? Oh yeah, they're just here, stuck out in the rain. Yeah, but they're helping your dad out. They're keeping him from keeling over, so... This guy's being really nice to them. I fuck with him. Oh, a snake. No, it's snake. <laughs> What's he reading? Wasn't he reading this last time? Y'all be careful watching him sleep. He's gonna fuck you up. Oh. 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 <laughs> Did he just pass by them without noticing them? I thought he was gonna wake up and fuck them up then for leaning over him while he was sleeping. I suppose that's true. You don't want to, you don't want someone stealing one of those expensive ass plows. So is he is he then Kettle's son or what's what's the, what's the family tree looking like here? Let's fucking go. Can we come here every night and get a decent meal, please? Look at this. Bread, sausage, holy hell. <laughs> oh, this is funny. <laughs> Bro, these two bickering, man. Bro. I don't like the way he's saying that. I feel like that might be something that happens in the future. This is definitely foreshadowing. Some shit's gonna happen. Yeah? He protects him. Wait, King Harold, was it? Spitting facts, bro. There's definitely some heavy foreshadowing going along here. Someone is going to raid this farm. <laughs> oh, these guys are funny. Oh, good for you, Thorfinn. Learning shit. <laughs> Don't call me that. This are fucking. This is a lot of land, bro. Holy shit. Where do you even keep all your wealth? Like, what does he do with his treasure? There's no banks or anything. Where do you keep all that? Oh, look at them got little goaties going. Bro, time is passing. <laughs> oh, Aina's is so cute. Look at bro's hands. Bro, they are making big process uh, progress. Right, so that was Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 6. Really freaking good episode once again. Um, if you guys want to explain to me kind of like the family tree situation going on here, because obviously Snake says Gramps. So, like, I'm, I wonder if he just calls him Gramps because he's old or because um, he's actually his grandpa. I'm not sure, but then that makes him related to Kettle. But I don't know. Please, someone just explain that to me because I'm a little bit confused. But yeah, that was really sweet. A uh, very good episode. I like that um, Svel... Svel... Ah, damn it, I forgot his name. I'll remember his name. Old, old boy um, was helping them out, giving them the horse and then the plow, feeding them a good meal. Uh, you got to respect it, uh, especially in, in, on this place. or In this life, they could be definitely be in a, a lot worse a position than they currently are. Yeah, it definitely felt like some heavy foreshadow foreshadowing in this episode, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. If some, if like a, you know, a group of people decide to raid the farm, uh, I think Thorfinn will probably pop off and help Snake. But I don't know. Uh, I'm looking forward to the future episodes, regardless. 
really happy that this is kind of like a double season kind of length show going on on here. So really love Inland Saga. Looking forward to the rest of the episodes. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.